motivation wise, if we think about the medical applications, but really it's no different in a typical corporate application, I would say, where it's really important to get the right answer. I mean, obviously in the medical application, if you give the wrong answer, people may die. You really need to be sure you're getting the right answer. But also in a corporate setting, you know, if you give the wrong answer, customers may come back and ask for, you know, refunds of extremely large contracts. It's not good. You want to be absolutely sure you're getting the right answer. So one of my initial motivations was formalize the, the knowledge representation part in a way that we could really guarantee that the answers were correct, but also finding algorithms that could be very efficiently implemented in practice so that the systems that we've built really worked well in you know realistic settings. Actually, the funny thing is that at the beginning, um, people really didn't like it because, you know, ex well, the experts didn't like it because the system was coming back and telling them they, they did something wrong. And if they really weren't used to that. They kind of thought, I'm the expert. If I say that, then, you know, it must be right. And so at first there was quite a lot of resistance to the use of, you know, AI systems in general, actually, in medicine. And, the system we were developing was, was no exception. But I think over time, people got used to it and actually came to really rely on it. By now, it's totally the other way around. People come to us and just, you know, I need this, how can I possibly build, you know, any kind of medical system without some KRR system to check that it all makes sense. RDFOX continues to evolve to meet the growing complexity and diversity of AI applications that rely on knowledge representation and reasoning, which from a personal perspective is immensely satisfying.